Lisa Marie Presley, the 54 year old singer and only child of Elvis Presley passing away just days after appearing at the Golden Globes with their mother Priscilla to celebrate the movie about her father. Chris Connolly joins us with her life and legacy. Good morning, Chris. And good morning to you, Michael. From beginning life as one of the most famous babies ever to becoming a fiercely loving mother in her own right, Lisa Marie Presley saw herself as a rebel from a family of rebels. But while her father, Elvis Presley, could work out his rebellion in his art, she had to do it in her unconventional life, a life that ended far too soon. Just this Tuesday night, it was an evening to celebrate at the Golden Globes for Lisa Marie Presley on the pre-show carpet, asking to grab her date's arm to steady herself, praising to Extra, director Baz Luhrmann's movie about the life and career of her father, Elvis Presley. I was mind blown, truly. I actually had to take like five days to process it because it was so spot on and authentic. Later watching alongside her mother Priscilla as Austin Butler nabbed best actor in a drama for his portrayal of her father in Elvis. And the Presley family, thank you guys. Thank you for opening your hearts, your, your memories, your home to me. Lisa Marie, Priscilla, I love you forever. This past summer at Graceland, Lisa Marie Presley and her daughter, actress Riley Keough, sitting down with me. Lisa Marie sharing memories of her days with Elvis as he'd perform live. Do you remember seeing him in Las Vegas on stage? Yes, I do. Walking to the stage, holding his hand, and then going out to my seat, and the lights went down, and, and it didn't matter. I was just with him, and it didn't matter that he was my father. I still was would yell and get up in my chair and scream. Famous from the day she was born in 1968, Lisa Marie was just nine years old when her father died in August of 1977. Later, on her 25th birthday, inheriting his estate, worth over $100 million at the time, including Graceland, the Presley family home in Memphis. In 2003, she'd become a musician in her own right, eventually releasing three albums. Yet amid the tumult of her adulthood, including brief marriages to Nicolas Cage and to Michael Jackson, and her own struggles, she would always put her four children first. Riley and Benjamin Keough with first husband Danny Keough, twins with fourth husband Michael Lockwood. To her, being their mom mattered most. The death of her son Benjamin by his own hand in July of 2020, a shattering emotional blow. Inside Graceland, the house that Elvis Presley's rebellion established, Lisa Marie Presley sought to explain her own irrepressible rebel spirit that drove her unconventional choices in life, that kept her true to her father's legacy and to her own self as she navigated life's challenges. The wild card factor is very much alive and well in this family, I think and um, alive and well in me. Um, yes, and to the point where my own children are like, Mom, stop, <laughs> stop, what are you doing? Don't say that, you can't say that, you can't do that. You see the affection between mother and daughter there. We talked of happy things, of movies coming out and performances, but the sadness of her son's death was heavy in the room. And so later, to sit across from her and Austin Butler, who plays Elvis in the film, to see their mutual affection, the young actor who lost his mother far too young, the mother who lost a young son, to see them connect, you got the sense maybe some healing was going on. Now much more healing will be needed in light of Lisa Marie's passing. Guys? Mm. You really so see her sad. father's face when you see her there. Yeah, you sure do. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.